Aquarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a weekly reading for you for the 30th today of May uh, to the 5th of June 2022. No particular subject will have an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and the potential outcome. And at the end there'll be an opportunity for an extended reading where we'll dive in deeper. Um, you can watch this for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus, or if any of those tr planets are transiting your 11th house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. It's the easiest way to support the channel. It uh, it does wonders and it's very much appreciated. So thank you very much. And the description box is all the information you need. Links to um, Vimeo and Patreon for the extended uh, Instagram. <coughs> pardon me. To see photos of the spread as well as a website link for private reads. Um, cross watchers, you are welcome. <coughs> There's a front chakra blocked here. Can barely breathe. Um, so this week, today, we have the new moon, literally, literally around about now, just after half 12, um, in Gemini, bringing much needed uh, relief <coughs> and fun energies um, after the intensity of the lunar eclipse. Perfect um, new freshness. It's also uh, the moon's uh, creating a sextile with uh, a stellium in Aries. Aries being in Mars, Jupiter, as well as Chiron, bringing new beginnings and healing. <coughs> Hopefully my throat for a start. And Saturn also going retrograde from the 4th of June to the 23rd of October. I finally looked it up. Um, so a perfect opportunity to uh, reassess our plans. And uh, it's going to be different from in what area for everybody, depending on where Saturn's currently transiting, in which house. Um, but like I said, perfect opportunity to uh, reassess and reevaluate. Okay, enough uh, blabbering. Okay, I've just heard a <clears throat> quote from Godfather. Um, just when you think you're out, you're out, they pull you back in. Um, so this could be reference to maybe trying to leave a job or leave a relationship, a habit. Um, but then something dragging you back. Let's see. The magician. Okay, somebody's in manifesting mode. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past advice, potential outcome. <clears throat> the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Okay. Kind of feel like right. It, let's face it, you guys. I mean, as much as I try and pull away from the um, the dynamics of the soulmates, twin flames, etc., etc., something's going on with you. There's a there's a <clears throat> a magnetic attraction with um, with you and a, and a person from the past. You've chose to walk away, I feel, whoever this is. You've chose, like, you've had enough of it. You're seeking your um, Nine of Pentacles energy, you know, independence, financially stable, doing you, putting you first. Um, this person has felt you pull away. And now they're trying to manifest something back in place. It, it feels... <clears throat> They must be they must be working on their throat chakras, ready to speak. Because I'm, I've literally just done a reading earlier uh, for somebody. I had no issues with my throat, and it's really uh, um, prominent now. Let's just see whether the four of wands isn't out, but again, it's, it's you guys in Gemini every time. Um, let's just see what the messages with the four of wands.
literally the last card tower um, so <clears throat> I think you've done you've had enough you're off now and I kind of feel like the universe is saying keep going don't look back um, you know if this person's supposed to be in your life they will be etc etc this is um, a real need to keep moving forward this may come as a surprise to some of you because I kind of feel like you've been doing that so maybe this tug of energy is going to pull at your heartstrings. Your advice is to keep going, don't look back. Okay, so we've got the magician. This is, you know, somebody that is in manifestation mode. This is uh, creating reality. What we're aware of is the star. This is you guys. So this could have been wishing upon a star, manifesting in the... Um, in the, in the moonlight um but i kind of feel like it's just emphasizing here you know it's you guys <clears throat> with gemini because the lovers is here as well what we're not aware of is the eight of cups so you've left this behind you could have done something in regards to unconditional love because the ace of cups which is on the ground which is what you bought to wear from is unconditional love that's when you've reached a point where it doesn't matter if you meet this person again in this lifetime you've wished them all the best you leave them with love and happiness without wanting anything in return and you've done that perfect in the recent past we have the king of pentacles so this person could be a bit older than you um it doesn't have to be uh, probably have their own business, but somebody very, very sure of themselves and fin financially capable. Your advice is the Four of Cups. As advice, the Four of Cups is, you know, have gratitude. Um, the focus here, she's focusing on the past, which is the Three of Cups. So, something that possibly didn't work out. Um, with this Ace of Cups here, it's also saying don't focus on whatever you've left behind because you chose to leave it behind. You've left it behind for a reason. This could be in the sense of um, doing a intention for somebody. So for example, um, you're not having an expectation of maybe trying to manifest somebody into your life but you've manifested for them to receive unconditional love from you. Don't keep going back to it. That's somebody that needs to hear that. So we've got the Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups here. You know, don't keep going back to it. That doesn't have to be just about um, letting somebody go of unconditional love. This could be about manifestation in general. Stop going back to the, you know, thing. If you if, set it and forget it is the message here. And the outcome is Gemini, lovers. So, star and the lovers here, you guys are always all over this bleeding twin flame thing, driving me insane. Um, if it's meant to be in this lifetime, it's meant to be in this lifetime. If it's not, it's not. If obviously, there's some purpose. Um, your intention right now is to manifest your life, your going forward, your ability, your stability, your... Um, uh, wholeness, you know, the Eight of Cups is going for, forward to reach the Ninth of Cup. Ninth of Cups, Nine, nine of Cups is uh, that wish fulfillment. It's also um, being complete within yourself. I've got a weird feeling I saw it with t Temperance, which is perfect. Temperance and the Nine of Cups. So Temperance and the Nine of Cups together is bliss. It's peace. It's being completely and un, you know undeniably happy and content within yourself. Seek that first before this. So this could be trying to manifest somebody into your life. Seek the joy first. Don't look back. Don't focus on the past. Four of Cups is also a card of rejection. And I kind of feel it could be a message here to say maybe there was rejection for your protection. 
Um, but whatever it is, you walking away has triggered something in them. So don't be surprised if Mercury, magician, brings them back. Keep walking. Keep doing you. Um, you will, you know, you will succeed. Just when you thought you were, they pull you back in. Okay. So in the extended, we'll dive in deeper. We'll do, um, we'll, we'll do, um, I suppose, a, a connection reading. We'll do, you'll be there left, left hand side. There'll be the right. And down the middle, we'll have uh, the energy between you. Um, and we'll just see what's going on here. Uh, so we've got Gemini, we've got uh, Aquarius, we've got very strong Gemini with Magician as well, Virgo, Venus in Virgo. Uh, but we've got Pentacles, we've got Cups, we've got Wands. Any Swords? No Swords? Okay. There's only Libra missing there, isn't there, really? So you guys are here. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm blabbering. Look after yourselves, Aquarius. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, I shall see you next week. And, um, yeah, someone's trying to pull you back in. Don't fall for it. Keep going. Keep finding you. All right. Take care. Bye.